Hello, if your family is anything like mine, a lot of times as you're coming up to the holiday season, you're looking for gifts, and the gifts that you're looking for especially are books. My family loves books for gifts. Uh, so I'm making this series in the months heading up to uh, Christmas that pulls out my uh, reviews of specific books from uh, other bigger videos that I've done and just uh, presents just the review straight to what's good or bad about this uh, book and then at the end of the video I'll add uh, I recommend this as a gift I really recommend it as a gift or in some cases as I don't recommend this as a gift so in the time leading up to Christmas I present to you this new series of rerun Novarum videos of what books I recommend for holiday gifts. I hope you enjoy it. So having said that, uh, what's one of the uh, first books we can kind of look at that has really influenced our culture, modern culture? Well, if you're my age and grow up, you'll um, recognize it uh, right away. So let's look at this, Harry Potter. This is the first one, uh, and there's all kinds of different editions, but this is definitely the first one I wrote. Uh, read. I didn't write it. J.K. Rowling uh, wrote it, but I read it and it had an influence on me and a lot of people of my generation. And um, I think we should examine it um, just real quickly. So one of the first things we have to say is there's this big uh, in Christian and Catholic circles. There's this big pushback against Harry Potter because we shouldn't be reading that because um, it's got magic and wizards and those are bad. And it's true, very clearly condemned in the Bible using magic and divination and all that stuff. So that's true. We, in the real world, we can't use magic. But I'm going to be pulling some uh, ideas of how to look at magic in fictional worlds from a, a really good essay. I'll link to it in the description about magic in fictional worlds by, he's a deacon, uh, Deacon Stephen uh, Gradranus. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, yeah, uh, but he wrote a really good essay on, well, is it okay to read or watch movies because he's a film critic? Um, he, uh, and I'll link to his website, Decent Films. Uh, is it okay to this entertainment that has magic in it? Well, some people would just say, yes, it is, because look, uh, Tolkien and C.S. Lewis use it, and there's very few Christians that you could say uh, that would say, no, Tolkien and C.S. Lewis are bad, right? So they have magic, therefore uh, it's fine to have magic. Well, that's not quite true because uh, either we can't just say that because. Um, you can have magic portrayed in a lot of different ways. In Tolkien and C.S. Lewis, it's very clearly portrayed as not something for human beings to be doing, uh, right? Uh, humans don't use magic in either of those, uh, and it being good. So that's one uh, separating it from Harry Potter. But I think um, in a fictional world, we can imagine a world, we can imagine a world where God made hate the thing you're supposed to do, but we can imagine a world where there's something called magic that's not wrong to do. So when we're creating, reading these fictional worlds, that's okay, it's okay to see that. But what we wanna look at um, in seeing if the magic portrayed in a book is bad or not is uh, there's a bunch of things and read the essay, but there's a couple. First, is it gonna give scandal? Is it gonna make, tempt me to try to look into these occult things and do uh, magic? And for that, Harry Potter, no. No, I wouldn't say that because it doesn't have the actual, there are real occult practices and Harry Potter doesn't really have them. Well, if it hasn't at all, it's the bad guys doing them. It's not portrayed as a good thing. So that's the thing. Another thing we can be tempted to is if we just think that, oh, magic and that stuff's not real. It's just harmless fun to have in movies. You can watch it in stuff like um, all kinds of shows and stuff now have a diabolical cult aspect and that's fine because it's harmless fun because it's not real that's kind of the author of harry potter jk rowling that's kind of her um view on it uh but we can't no no it's we know that these things are real so uh, we want to see how much a book tempts someone to use actual magic and harry potter i would say uh no it doesn't it is more than tolkien and c.s lewis because they very intentionally want to show that magic is not for human beings and Harry Potter doesn't do that. Okay, um, so putting that, so now that we have a framework for is magic okay for a Christian to read about in books? Uh, well, it shouldn't desensitize us and it shouldn't scandalize us and tempt us to get into 
uh, doing real world occult stuff, let's look at some of the good points of Harry Potter and the Harry Potter series and some of the bad points. Well, some of the good points is um, the author says the whole theme of it is love and there are good points of showing love, but I actually think if we're picking a virtue that it shows better is uh, faith because you're supposed to trust in the people you already know are good people and it's shown over and over and it keeps going each book one ups okay even though it looks like this person authority figure you're supposed to trust he's and you know that you can that he's a trustworthy person oh it looks like he's doing something evil oh even more evil are you still going to trust him and every time they should have. So I think it shows the virtue of faith very well. It shows young adults uh, in a very healthy way not being over-sexualized. I love that about the Harry Potter series. It shows having a good group of friends and uh, developing as a young adult in very good ways. All those are really good about the Harry Potter series. Uh, one of its bad points is that uh, they're just liars. Lying is portrayed as not a big deal. There's so much lying in it. Um, and I think that's very bad. So that's one book um, that I do think is a good book if uh, young adults want to read it better than most of these other things like Twilight and stuff out there uh, because it shows very healthy normal young adult relationships that don't have a bunch of sex or anything weird like that. Um, but I'm definitely not going to say this is the best fantasy novel. 